afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1094th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Traders, the reason behind these videos is to teach you the art of technical analysis, how to use it on the stock market, how to use it on the commodity markets, how to use tonight's information for trading tomorrow's markets. In fact, everything I show you on this board each evening when I film these videos is usually geared for what should happen tomorrow. I know, slightly a bit novel there, you know, we're, we're actually thinking or we're doing videos for you live and then saying this is going to happen tomorrow, almost the opposite of everything else you'll find, but hey, that's what the Omni does here. The Omni usually tells us what will happen tomorrow. So this video will have some information about tomorrow and a little bit of information about the longer term view, but most of this is for tomorrow. Traders with uh, futures trading can be extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. If you do not understand this game, if you do not recognize that a stop is your best friend, you certainly shouldn't be trading futures. For you traders that get it, let's rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. I'm excited. Boy, we've got some great stuff going on. Traders, this video is being filmed on Tuesday night for trading, Wednesday, October 23rd, 2013. It is the 1094th installment of a huge amount of, you know, a huge wealth of information in these videos that I put forward to you traders. Each one of them at some point shows you a chart technique. I've been doing this for almost 32 years now. I have perfected and practiced and gone over and learned from. I cannot tell you how much I've put into the work and the level I've achieved that analysis. And I show you many of these tips, tricks, and techniques in these nightly videos. So if you like what you're about to see, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button above and you can get a, an email every time I do a video. And if you really want to get close to me, come on down to LiveWithOscar.com and come into my free chat room. Now, what's on the board? Right off the bat, scary but another green omni for the E-mini S&P, the trading in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, it's getting sloppy out there, traders. I know I've got these numbered one and two, but let's go to two first. This is becoming a sloppy, sloppy market. I kid you not. We've got a bull market that will open up during the day, run up a bit, look pretty good, go down, make new lows in the middle of the day, turn around and end up at the highs before the day's over. That's a bit sloppy. A good bull market starts off lower, you know, gets everybody in, gets everyone nervous, and then works its way higher all day. We're getting very sloppy action in the E-mini S&P, in the NASDAQ, in our U.S. indices, but we continue to buy the dips. Buy the dips until something else happens, right? We follow the charts. The charts are telling us to buy the dips. I am here to tell you we continue to buy dips as sloppy as it looks unless the market turns. If it turns, we know how to sell. For now, green omni buy the dips. Now, what else do we have? Traders, I have a wonderful, wonderful chart to show you. In fact, a few decent charts, but this one is what happened to Tesla. Remember the darling car company of Wall Street? I came out and did a video last week and said, I don't know about that. Tesla looks like it's going to go down. And Tesla's down 18, almost $18 since that day. I know nothing about the car company. I could care less about the car company unless I go to buy a Tesla one day. I don't know its fundamentals. I don't look at fundamentals. I read charts. I got in front of you, I don't know, a week ago and said, don't ask me why, because I have nothing to do with this company, but my Omni's telling me that Tesla may have some kind of a fundamental problem, bit of news, something, because the analysis is telling me that Tesla should go down. I think the price was 183 in change that day on settlement. It's gotten down to 166 in change. I mean, wow. So we will look at that, but that is a testament that Fundamentals do come out in the charts first because there is absolutely something that's going to come out. Now, whether a fundamental comes out or not, the charts told us we would drop in a stock. You know, two, three dollars is a lot in a stock. Seventeen and a half dollars is a lot in a stock. So again, bravo for technical analysis, and that is what I will teach you in these nightly videos. All right, traders. Now that I've spoken about it, with no further ado, let's go look at. 
at some charts. Traders, I'd like to open up this chart segment this evening with Tesla, the car company, a daily bar chart. But I'd like to just do a quick review from the last video that we did, which was about Tesla. Please indulge me, watch this quick clip, and I'll get right back to you in real time. Here we go. The car company of the world is the most, I mean, the best new car company in the world, right? I'm looking at this chart and I'm wondering why is it building a head and shoulders over here? This looks like our left shoulder. This certainly looks like the head of a head and shoulders formed already. And this looks like a right shoulder possibly forming. So I said, you know, let me take a little more, a closer look at this chart, because that's a big formation to try to call. Let me see if there's anything going on. And traders, here's why I think there possibly is some fundamental news in Tesla that may be coming out. You see, we still got that head and shoulders, right? But if you look a little closer, bear flag from the highest print that Tesla has ever had into a second bear flag that we're in now, and I think we're going to crack. I think Tesla has a problem. Okay, traders, so that's what I showed you, and look at this. It was here. It went all the way down to there. I mean, bravo. A round of applause. How great is technical analysis? How could anybody think that after this dip, it was rallying nicely, the E-mini S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Trini, they're all blasting off, most of them making new yearly highs, and you had Tesla go down. And I said, you know what? My analysis is calling for lower. My Omni's calling for lower. Let's do a video. It was here. We gave the bear signal. It dropped to 166 since then. My goodness. That is technical analysis firing on all eight cylinders. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this. It may go lower. It may not. This was a technical call. I will say this. If this continues, then our theory that this was a big head and shoulders is definitely going to start to look really good. But we'll see. For now, let's not call it that. Let's take it one day at a time. And it does look like it's going lower. I've got lower targets for Tesla for trading on Wednesday at the Omni Trading Academy. What's next? Another chart that I've been showing you, and i got to say, I want another round of applause from you. Another great testament to the art of technical analysis. Look at this drop. First applaud, and I'll tell you why you're applauding. Look at this. I've been showing this chart almost every day. I flash it out there on Facebook. I show it to my Omniacs. I've shown this to you in a few videos. This is your crude oil December daily bar chart. I said this is looking very grisly when it was back here. And these days filled in, which if you ask me was a bare flag. And now we have broken down from the left shoulder head, right shoulder head and shoulders formation. We have broken down and we're down to here. Better than that even, look at this trend line that we have broken. That trend line goes really far back, traders. We broke that trend line and dropped all the way to here. So my goodness, once again, bravo technical analysis. This is literally a roadmap to what is coming next. If you want to look close enough right here, traders, I know I drew like a bear flag, but look at this. This was a shoulder, this was a head, and this was a perfectly formed shoulder in the right shoulder of the head and shoulders at the support line, which broke. That was picture-perfect analysis firing on all eight cylinders. So learn it and live it. This is good stuff. Next, E-mini S&P. We gave you an S&P chart. It was here. There was no bars past this green one. I put this target out there for you and said we would hit it. We went up and hit that target. Bravo. I did a video and showed that to you. Look what happened since. I put this target there since. We went up and hit that target. Now it's getting a little sloppy up here and a little tricky, but the targets are still higher for trading on Wednesday. Traders, unbelievable markets these days. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben Bernanke. Here we go. German DAX Daily Bar. Another chart that I have been showing you day after day. Big, big bull flag. There was a gap here that got filled when it built the flag and, you know, kind of made the pole on the way up. Left a gap. During the building of the flag itself, the gap was filled, and then the market broke out. And if you ask me, it is now one of my Oscarisms, an F flag. 
the, where the pole is down here and the flag goes up, it's wrong. It's an F flag, but usually we stay in F flags for quite some time, and this one looks like it's got some time in it. So I like what I'm seeing for the German DAX. With the German DAX in mind, and whether or not these markets, whether if they have pullbacks or they don't have pullbacks, this is a bull market. Let's look at something that should keep us in line. First of all, you've got your Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar right here. I showed this to you for weeks on end. I said this it was a tremendous hold of the 200 bar moving average, and that I called the fund manager's blue light special. Because I know that when fund managers see this, the buy signals start going into the, to the buy programs, and next thing you know, they're buying, and look what happens. So that worked. We're moving up. And if you look at what's happened here, I mean, these are just repetitive patterns, but you hit the bottom, you know, I don't think I have to say it, do I? You hit the top, bottom, look, bang, 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 bang. Why would you not go there? This is a strong bull market being supported by the Fed. Why not fill that circle in it, filled in every other one? So I think we have high to go for that reason. Then we've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It broke out of that pattern and took off. A pattern like the last one I just showed you on the tranny. This is the Dow Industrials. It took, excuse me, <laughs> this is the transportation average on that chart I was just showing you, which was the Dow Industrials. It really took off the transportation average. It has broken out. If you recall this chart, I was showing this to you and said, look, it usually gets from the bottom of this through a channel, hits the top, breaks to the bottom, creates a channel, hits the top, breaks to the bottom, creates a channel. But it went through. That's something new. So more evidence that whatever is pushing our markets up, technically they still look good. Then, traders, let's take a longer-term view of what's going on. This is your E-mini S&P. It had a top. This top was put in in 2000, 2001, came rolling down. Ro roars back up till we made our highs in 2007. Then our crash comes down to 2009. Since then, we've gotten back to that high, but we took out the third high. Boom. It's not a triple top. It blasted through it. It's been in here enough months. End up to here to know that this is never going to be considered a triple top, and we have thrust in this market right now. That's your E-mini S&P. And then if we just sail across the pond a little bit, you'll see that your DAX on the monthly looked exactly the same. You had a high same year, and we had the, the low of 2003, and we had the rally up to 2007, then we had the crash, then we came roaring back from the crash, and you bested the triple top. This is extraordinary. This is strong. This looks like it wants to go higher. So overall picture on the monthly charts is that the indices in the United States, as well as across the pond in Europe, beg to move higher. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. That is the art of technical analysis. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts, and remember, put your stops in with this S&P because it is getting sloppy. The stops need to be wider. The play is getting more like this. That is what happens when you go higher and higher in an indice, by the way. As that index rises up, it starts to fluctuate more and more on its daily range. So you must expect it, but you need to morph with the market if it's going to have expanded volatility. Expand your stops a little, do your analysis, and play the game the way you're supposed to. One thing I will say about stops before I move forward here is this. Do not look at a trade and say, well, I want to get an S&P at uh, 1627, and I think I want to risk down to 1624 and just put that trade on. You better do your homework. You better put the trade, you know, come up with your analysis of where you want to get in, but your stop has to be somewhere past the range of all the days that you see to your left. If not, you're asking for trouble. My point is use the chart when you derive a stop level on a trade, do not use what you think is a risk-reward ratio. Do not use what your uncle told you. Don't use what the guy told you on the phone as a hot tip. Use the chart to come up with your stop. I assure you it's a better stop than anyone else is going to come up with with that little man in the back of their heads. All right, so, traders, I guess it was a bit musky for Tesla, right? Now, listen, the red arrow for Tesla is again for tomorrow. I think Tesla goes down again, but... Tesla, I have nothing against you, Mr. Car Company. I kid you not, Mr. Musk. I've got nothing against you at all. I've got nothing against the cars. I think they're great. 
I have nothing to do with why it goes up and down. I simply read the tea leaves and report to you. Tea leaves tell me Tesla's going to go down again on Wednesday. Let's see what happens. All right, traders, that's about it. Come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come into my free trading rooms. I hope to see you there. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, I will see you at the site and watch for Tesla to dump for another day. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.